Hello, hello, welcome to Red Ted Art. First things first, subscribe to the channel. Now you've seen these super popular um, bouncy balls. Oh off it goes, made from loom bands. Today we're gonna to show you how to make a big one made from lots and lots of broken or old loom band um, bracelets. Uh, these are great for juggling, for throwing, for games. They do bounce, not as well as little ones, they do bounce though, but they're great for using up broken leftover loom bands. Anyway, let's get started. So, great big mess here of broken loom bands, unfinished loom bands, a great big long loom band that my daughter once made on a play date. And because I don't like to waste, I thought, what can we do with it? So I thought, why not turn it into a, not a small bouncy ball, but a huge bouncy ball or medium size, to be honest. So uh, basically I'm starting with a, a broken dented ping pong ball that I've got here. If you don't have a ping pong board, don't worry. All you do is you start with a squished up bit of loom bands and start wrapping around that. I just thought that um, I might as well use a ping pong ball because then I can make my final ball bigger because I've only got so many broken loom bands and also I guess it helps with forming the shape. But like I said, you don't have to use a ping pong ball because who's got a ping pong ball lying around? I just happen to have these left over from a superhero party. So what I'm doing now is I'm wrapping, as you can see, my big the big loom band that my daughter made at the... Um, at a, party, uh, at a play date once, I'm just wrapping it round and round, like so. And then every so often I'm going to take one of these shorter pieces and wrap it and hold it into place and then wrap it round with my long piece to kind of secure it. It doesn't matter if it sticks out a bit, this is just the beginning. Remember to keep changing direction too because you, otherwise you end up with an oblong ball and you want it to be round in all directions, don't you? There we go, so now I'm gonna take a couple of the smaller pieces again, stretch it round and secure. You could obviously just tie your smaller pieces together and turn, to, turn them into something big, like so. I'm just being a little bit lazy then what you can also do every so often just to help hold it in place is to put a complete small loom band over like so this is just to help keep things in place So you saw me at the end, I was just adding um, single colours, uh, if you two, two at a time, like so, and I was just trying to make it into um, one colour rather than, um, you know, I wanted to, rather than the rainbow look, I wanted to have it like this, sort of, like the green and the white, I wanted to have it blue and white. And there you go, that's your uh, final um, bouncy ball made from broken loom bands. Now, um, as I was doing it at the beginning, I'm not sure how clear I was, I actually find it easier if you take the broken pieces and knot them together and just wrap, 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 rather than trying to get small pieces on at a time. Um, and these are really good for juggling. Now, these, I actually think, bounce much higher but these do bounce, they just don't bounce as high, but they're really good balls for juggling, throwing, catching, that kind of thing. And I think it's a great way to use up broken loom bands or unfinished loom band bracelets. Anyway, um, hope you like this tutorial. Um, in up here, we've also got the small ones link, they're really good. Um, you know, don't forget to like the video, comment down below what I'd like to see, and you know, subscribe to the channel, and see you here again soon. Bye.